Hi. Do you guys like corn? What do you like about corn? It's corn! When I mean corn, I mean ethanol. If your car is struggling to pump enough fuel for your fuel system because you want to add ethanol, watch this entire video because I'm going to show you exactly what to do. It doesn't matter what kind of car you have. This one in particular is a BMW E36 that I have turbo LS swap. It's got a lot of power and I want to make some more. I'm running Holly Terminator X, but it doesn't matter the ECU that you have. The way that I wire this up can work with a bunch of different other fuel systems, but let's get right into it. Whatever ECU you have should be able to run a trigger set for specific things. You could run this off of a hob switch or a secondary pump. In my Holly Terminator X software, I can actually program one of the output wires that it has to run a secondary fuel pump to kick on whenever I want it to. So a couple of these wires that you see here are actually coming right from my Holly Terminator X. I've already designated one wire in the ECU to run my secondary fuel pump. I'm gonna make a separate video on how to actually program it into the Holly, and I've already made a video about this awesome Rally Road dual fuel pump system that I've already put in the car, so you can go watch that right now. If you want to, then come back to see how the rest of the wiring went in this video. But you can do the same thing to whatever ECU you guys have, but the wiring will all be the same no matter what you're doing. So this one wire that's here is gonna function as my trigger wire for my fuel pump relay in the back of the car. I'm gonna trigger the fuel pump to turn on at over 50% throttle or two PSI. If I'm over 50% throttle, I'm probably in this bitch, so I'm gonna be needing more fuel. So it'll kick on then, it'll be able to pump more fuel out of the tank to handle E85, because when you're putting a car on E85, you need about 33% more fuel to be able to pump than you normally would on 93 for combustion. So that's why you need a better fuel pump to run E85. Let's go to the back of the car. So that wire, you can wire up a few different ways. You can come through and go underneath the car like this, all the way through to the back. I did it a different way. I'll show you how and why. For me, it was just easier to actually go underneath the car and I came up that side fuel sender for my trigger wire and then trigger wire going up and through through there into where all the other wires are I was able to feed all my wires in there my terminator x comes through there all my wires there go right through that into the back there's a couple different ways you can do it you just got to get the trigger wire to go where it's got to go and i also ran my power and ground for the secondary fuel pump through as well so let's go to the back and show you what that looks like you are definitely going to need relays and a fuse for this setup. So I'll put links in the description to both these things. They're great to have. It helps the channel out if you use the link. So make sure you guys do that. All these on here. Two of these wires are gonna get clipped. Two of these wires are going to my primary pump, which is this one. Then I gotta, I gotta run two new wires to my secondary, which is there. Red wire to the fuse. This goes directly to the positive battery post. White wire is gonna go to the white wire. Just by coincidence, on my primary fuel pump it's actually the green wire that's just my tr it's the trigger that's our trigger don't forget to put your shrink wrap on first what i like to do is twist them up put them in hold them down and i love my vice grips nothing crimps better than vice grips to be honest with you uh they do sell crimpers i'm sure they're good i'm sure they're fine i don't have ones that i enjoy i just think these hold better pretty darn good hold all right let's hit it with the heat Okay, and that's on. Slide this puppy over. This is what both of them look like all wired up. I use this as the ground up here, shave that off. My primary fuel pump goes and gets fully grounded in the cabin, but my secondary fuel pump, I ran the ground wire down and just hit it to the battery. But as you can see, I still have the ground going in here and then on the relay as well. I just don't have a separate ground there, but that is how it looks. All wired up and it gets all tucked in so you don't see any of this. Just to recap, your trigger wire is your white wire. Your power wire going to the fuel pump is the blue wire. Your black is gonna be going to a ground and the red wire on the relay goes directly to your battery. And that should be a thicker wire than normal as you can see how I have it there. And then in between that wire going to the battery is where I have 30 amp fuses for both of my fuel pumps. And that's how I have it wired up in the back here. 
Okay, so it's all wired in on this side. I have the plugs in. Make sure you wire the plugs underneath the hat because it'll be really hard to get it out. I think what I'll do is I'll add some slack to this to uh, run, to have more of this underneath it. And then I'll tuck the wires in here. That way I can shut it nice and flush. So you just don't, the less wires you have bunched in there, the better. I am gonna do a test run to make sure it fits. The way I'm gonna test to make sure the secondary pump is working is, I'm just gonna turn the key on. I hear the pump running, great. I'll turn it off. Then I'll switch plugs. So that will switch what the primary plug is. Turn it on again. If I hear it prime, I know the pump is working. The secondary pump is not gonna kick on until the ECU sees two pounds of boost. All right, first I'm gonna turn the key on. Hopefully we get no leaks and we'll listen for the primary fuel pump. Yep, that primed. You can also hear my scavenge pump. Okay. Now I'm gonna switch wires and then do it again. We should be able to hear the, the pump prime again, that way I know I have both. Okay, let's try it again and let's listen. All right, both primed, both work. If you think I missed something in this explanation of how I wired this up in my car, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to respond to those comments or make a separate video addressing whatever the question is. In the meantime, check a bunch of these other videos out that I've done on this car.